Hey everyone, it's James at 317 Vapors. I got here today the Kanger Evod. I'm going to show you guys how to clean and dry burn this. It's basically, the, if you've watched my other videos on the Pro Tank and the Vivanova, it's pretty much the same concept as that. So, uh, first off, you just tip it upside down and watch out because there will be a drop of e liquid that comes out. I'm sorry about that. There will be a drop of e liquid or two that comes out just from whatever down there. Unscrew your base, set it off to the side. Turn on your hot water, water, cold water, it doesn't matter. And just rinse it out real good. Once that's rinsed out, take your the head of it and rinse it off real good. Alright, once you get both of these rinsed off real good, you want to take the rubber washer, the gasket, off of there. Pull that off. Set it to the side. Then you want to pop out the center stem. And it's just push fit it in there. Leave it in the base. Don't unscrew the head from the base yet, but just pop that out of there. Let me see if I can get this on close up. Try to get the... Just pop that top off right here. It's going to be a little hard when it's wet, but this snaps right off of there. And you can see there, there's that flavor wick on top there. You want to pull that flavor wick off right there and set it down at the side. And then you just have your coil. And at that point, you just want to turn the water on after you got that flavor wick out of there and just rinse it off with the wick and coil that's in there. Get it all rinsed off because you don't want to lose that flavor coil or that flavor wick down the drain. So you got to pop it off, and you don't do the dry burn with it on there either. So, and then on these tanks, I like to take a Q-tip and just get it wet, and then just run it in there. And it's not necessary, but I've had juice sitting in this one for a little bit, so I like to kind of scrub it a little. If you got some like pipe cleaners or something like that, it'd be good to get down in there and clean, but I'm gonna let this one soak for a minute in there. Alright, after that, you want to take some paper towel or vapor towel, what they call it in the vaping industry, and just dry it off as good as you can. Be careful not to disturb those wicks down there. Kind of just pinch the paper towel on each side of the wicks to dry it a little bit. But you don't want to move that coil inside there because it will fall out. It's not held in there with very much tension. And that takes some more Q-tips. Keep a box of these with you and then just run it in that battery connection and just shake it out, run it down in that battery connection, get all that dry. You don't want to put a wet battery connection on your mod. And then I just take it and blow on it a little bit. Clean out that center hole and that battery connection. And then you just take your mod. Make sure your voltage is turned down though because you will pop your coil if you're dry burning that too high. I always start off at 3.7. Screw your mod on there or your coil on there and then I'll get up close then once you got your mod or your your coil screwed onto your mod you just want to pulse the battery a few times and you'll see it start to smoke you want to just keep two three seconds here let go two or three seconds there let go and now you can see the coil starting to light up just continue to do that here you'll smell the burnt juice coming off of the coil that's just cleaning all that old gunk off there every once in a while I'll give it a little blow on the top of it that way it gets that like ashy build up off there or else it's just going to sit on the coil and you put juice in But there you go, after a couple times, and my battery's dead. Well, there we go, we're done, so we got it cleaned off anyways. Once you got everything cleaned off, this is dried off, 
you want to go ahead and take that flavor wick that we took over here and set down you want to pick that back up and you just want to pinch it in some dry paper towel I mean you don't want to like try to scrub it or anything just take it and pinch it and you'll see it's drying the water off of it that spot right there just take it again and pinch it find another dry spot and just pinch it and then you want to set that back on that clean coil now because you want to put one flavor wick back on there and guys I've had a couple people ask me um, about the flavor wicks the flavor wick is just sitting there because on these bottom coils when you're hitting it juices being gravity fed like on the vivid nova the coils up top so you constantly have to tip the device to get it wicking right on these bottom coils with the coil being at the bottom the juice is always coming down on it that way you don't have to tip to get the juice on the coil well these flavor wicks are just there to keep it from flooding and that way you don't get a gurgling sound well they put two or three of them sometimes from the factory and on some of your higher like 50 50 and 100 percent vg juices two or three flavor wicks chokes the coil out or chokes the wicking out you can't get 100 percent vg to go through with three flavor wicks on top of the regular coil so when when i say remove one or two of the coils if you got two of them just pull one of them out set it off to the side and keep the other one in there that's all i'm meaning by that guys and girls but uh just keep one flavor wick on there and try it with both of them try it the way it came if you're not having any dry burnt taste then leave both of them in there but if you're getting a dry burn or a dry taste to it then go ahead and pop one of those out and at this point we just snap that the post back on there on top of that flavor wick and go ahead and take a couple I'm not going to use this right now but go ahead if you're going to use this and fill it up right away go ahead and drip a couple drops of your e-liquid on there with that post off there because these wicks are nice and clean now and it'll eliminate that first couple dry hits when you fill your tank up it'll like jump start it'll, it'll prime it for you and then just go ahead after you put a couple drops on there snap your top coat top post back on there dry your rubber gasket off slide it back down and another thing when you're putting these rubber gaskets on slide it over that lip of that coil head but don't push it all the way down just get it on there where it's seated but not all the way flush and when you screw that on that rubber gasket will hit that center post inside there and it'll push itself down and what that does is creates a better uh, seal that way you don't it eliminates a chance of leaking I've noticed that if I push it all the way down sometimes I will have leaking if you notice you're having leaking try that don't push it all the way down just when you go to screw it back together that center post will push it down and seat it I don't know if you can see that but that center post in there with that rubber gasket you can actually see it being pushed down in there well, there you go everyone that's how you clean and dry burn the Kanger EVODs and the MT3s they're both the same process they're I mean all these things are pretty much universal as far as dry burning goes but I just wanted to get a video out there to show you guys these are getting popular so that's how you clean and dry burn it if you haven't already click the subscribe button you'll be kept up to date with all my future videos Go over to our Facebook page, the link will be down below. If you got a minute, click the like button and you'll stay up to date with all of our topics on Facebook. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.